Hi guys, Wendy here with Artfully Created. I am going to bring you a haul video. I haven't gotten a video done in so long, but I bought the Tropicals Watercolor Paints by Prima, oh, probably a few weeks ago. And I would say this was my first professional set. The watercolors I have were the cheapies from Michaels and I made a color chart you know I've been watching Gina B. Aaron's for so long that she always makes these charts though so I thought I would make a chart and these are nice now I don't have the sets Gina has um, since this is my um, first set in adult watercolors I thought they were awesome and so then I had admired Gina's sunflower and she found her video for me and so this is the first um, watercolor I did with the Prima paints and I have a little oops there but I'm okay with that and I when I first finished it I thought there weren't enough yellows for the sunflower but since it's dried it looks a little better and I'm so tempted to put some black marker around the outside and Gina says no don't do that so I'm really trying hard not to do that so then last week I got my hair done and every time I get my hair done, I visit my local scrapbooking store. And I knew I wanted to buy one more set. And I was going to go with the classics. Because I figured, you know, you always need the classic colors. And at checkout, she says, oh, pick a egg. She was doing her Easter promotion. So I picked an egg and it gave me a 20% discount. So I said, well, I might as well pick up the other set since, you know, you don't get a, you know, discount in that store very often. And anytime I could support a local store, I really try to. And even though it's a scrapbooking store, she has a good selection of mixed media. And so little by little, I'm, you know, buying some of her mixed media things in there. And she also has the Prima watercolor um, pencils, which... I'm looking at she has a lot of the um, just a lot of different luscious paints that I'm not familiar with so um, I got that so I got that last week and me I should not watch haul videos from anyone because it just puts a little thought in my head and so I went to Tuesday morning and I didn't go overboard. I've been looking for something nautical. Not that I needed it, just something I wanted in my collection so that I can make mail cards. And I love this little starfish. So I got that. And can I just put a, um, a disclosure? If Brianna Campbell is watching, I'm not going to say it can be in our um, collaboration, but I'm just saying you might not want to watch because it could be. Um, so if you're watching Brianna Campbell, turn off this video and wait until you get the collaboration that we're doing okay I all my intention today going out was to find some happy mail items for Brianna so I don't have a lot of things laying around that I haven't used and I just couldn't put in something that was already used or opened so I had heard there were some dilution stencils 
Now this is the only one that I really liked. And so I got two. One for me and maybe for somebody else. And then I also have this um, stamp set that was also um, with fishies and crabs and octopuses. And so I thought that was really cute. And then in the same shopping center, we have a Dollar Tree. So I moseyed on over there as well because I heard they had washi tape again. And I never make it to my Dollar Tree when they have washi tape. But I bought these little hydrangea flowers. I'm working on two I'm working on a collaboration which I'll send off tomorrow and then I started another little project that I thought I'd put these flowers on and I can show you that if you want to see that. See I'm I'm still working on it still in the middle of say I put a I had a oops over here and I started filming this and then my camera went wacky and stopped filming and I was doing my thing and then I realized it wasn't recording so I have to go back and do something on film. And then I bought these. Now I saw Carolyn Doobie do the little tiny ones and I saw a video last week and I don't remember the girl's name um, but I thought I'd pick up a couple of those and make some of these gemstones now let me show you what I've done in the past I've been a seller on Etsy for so long you know I I have bought a lot of things and these little Scrabble tiles were what I had been doing and I sold a bunch of these I made homemade ones custom orders for people and I put magnets on the back and I purchased this program that you can take your pictures and scrunch them into this um, square. I think it's a one by one inch square. Yep. And there's a lot of sellers on Etsy that sell these little square tiles. And so, just a few that I made my nephew when he was a baby. Hello. It's hard to really see because the glass there's a glare and my mom's cat Samantha and then here's another picture of my nephew he's so cute he just turned seven on March 15th and my Madison and she's going to be eight years old on April 12th and it's going to be our six year anniversary when I adopted these two cats and my mom's previous cat Ooh, what's her name? Libby. She passed away, um, I don't know how many years ago. She was rather young, so it was a shock to us. And then this was my Cali cat. This was my soul mate cat. And another one of my nephew when he was a baby. And then this is my Lola Bee. I also adopted her when I adopted Madison, and so this was when she was six months old, and I've had her for six years. So I got the round ones with that intention of doing something like that. And I bought some of this burlap ribbon in pink. I thought that was kind of cool, cute. 
I bought more of these little bins. I don't know. I just love these plastic bins. And I got some of these fastener dots so I can put my oh the Tim Holtz the applicators so I can stick them to the underside of the dress the distress inks and keep track of them and so I found some colored googly eyes and did I find washi now I bought two of each because like I said this may or may not end up in happy mail so those are foil and then there's some glitter tape and some more foil tape and then we have keys and I love that with a little heart and we have animal print in pink love that and then we have I think they're word bubbles but they're all doodled inside and then are there rain clouds because it looks like raindrops are also coming but it's a really pretty um, lilac and iolite type colors and then some dots and then I only found one this is a fabric tape with purple polka dots and since I'm a purple girl I had to get that and then there was some red stripes and then there was only one of these so and those are my colors and then I saw this it's diamond wrap and they had a couple colors but I really liked this green and it's almost looks like a metal back that would almost be pretty as a bracelet so it's really flexible which is nice so when things are in packages you don't really know what you're going to get it's all a mystery so that was my dollar tree haul and I don't know what else I know I was in Target a few weeks ago and I found some coloring books for two dollars and fifty cents and I picked that up I gave one to my mom for her birthday and she's been coloring in it a lot lately and you want to see something else I know Madison, would you get down, please? Come on, get down. Now I buy Suzanne Organic um, face care. And one of their incentives, if I don't know if you had to spend $50 or if it was just one of their items that you had to purchase. And when you purchase that item, you got some jewelry. Because if you know Suzanne Summer, she also does a line of jewelry. And so I thought, well, why not? You know, free is free. We all like free. Okay. And there's like nothing in there. Okay. I think I might have left them. There's a bigger box. Here we go. So we had a gold tone blingy earrings as much as I like bling and sparkle 
I'm not sure where I would wear these. They're not an everyday earring. And I don't know if I want to keep them as a giveaway or keep them for someone's birthday when I know about it. I haven't decided yet. And then you get these nice little faux um, it's not velvet, but it's like faux velvet. And then these silver earrings, and they're rather long, and I love long earrings. I would probably wear these more than the, the hoop ones. I thought these were kind of cute. And free is free. How can you pass up something that is free? And I had a friend who only used to buy her jewelry and told me her jewelry was pretty well made. So I decided, you know, I'm going to keep that on hand. So if I need a gift, even though I make jewelry, you know, I always have a hard time giving jewelry that I buy from someone else's line when I know I could make my own. I mean, it's not to that high, you know, um, quality of something that's mass produced. And it is made in China, so that sometimes defeats my purpose of handmade, you know, local, always supporting the local artists. But I do love Suzanne Summer, so I'm not going to argue with free. And I think, you know what, it wasn't, it was kind of a coupon, sorry, but I got that Distress from Tim Holtz and that one from Dilutions. I don't know which one, one smells very badly. and. I think it's the dilutions. It's a chemical smell, and I think the pads are smaller than the regular rectangular um, ink pads. And if you're using a large stamp like this, it's very hard to stamp up. So while I like the idea of getting four colors in one pad. If I could return these, I probably would, but I've already used, I've used the pink that was on my canvas that I showed you previously. Um, so that's my only negative is that it's really hard to ink up a large stamp and you can't take the stamp out and ink the stamp. Um, pad. If you had a small stamp, you know, you can put it down in the pad with no problem. It's just the bigger ones that are kind of a hassle. So I had picked that up with a coupon and um, I think that's it. Um, well, I think that's it. Well, we'll just say thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. And Brianna, if you're still watching, I'm sorry if hopefully, you know, you're not going to say, oh, I don't want that or, ooh, I want that and I don't send it. Um, I don't know. I just have a couple things on my desk on the side that I was going to send. And so I'm not really sure. So I hope Brianna's still not watching and is going to spoil the surprise or be disappointed. Anyway, um, since I've already been talking about it, Brianna Campbell and I are doing a collaboration. And we've been videotaping of making a background and, and walking through our process. So. Uh, as soon as I get that mailed off to her, um, I will. I think we're going to post the video on the same day. We'll leave links on each other so that you can go check her workout, what she's